Hey guys, what's up? It's Zenium Reg, and today we're gonna take a look at my custom Lisa Drac from the Sinestro Core. So here she is. Chained to the Book of Parallax. Along with the rest of my Sinestro Core. Now uh, basically she was just a cheetah. Oh, she's the variant of this one, the one that had the hair and the feet. As you can see. Um, basically all I did was rip off the hair and I gave her... Uh, I sculpted other hair on her. I sculpted the neck piece around uh, going down her chest. And I sculpted her ring and the little wristlets as well as this part right here uh, the book is made from a Wii manual that I cut up so that gives it its thickness and all this stuff is foam this is foam, this is foam right here this is foam the chain is a dollar store necklace into her wrist by some twisty tie. This came from a Lord of the Rings figure, the little cloth that I gave her as her hood, and the cape was a random cape. I don't know who, who it was that it came from. She still retains her articulation at her waist. I didn't sculpt it over so that it would you know, stop her from moving right there. I know it looks weird if, if she were to turn, but I, I still wanted to keep her with her movement. And then after all that was done, it was pretty much just a paint job. Uh, based her with a dark blue, and then uh, went lighter with several different blues to give her, you know, shading in there. Shading on her face. Uh, colored her lips with the uh, darker blue as well as her. And then you can't see it. It's the light. As well as her nails. Ugh. Oh, and this this drapery right here is from Loki. Just turned upside down and glued onto her right there and then everything else uh, this thing around her boobs are painted black I don't know if you can see her eyes gave her the yellow color for the sinestro look and the book I kept closed with this thing because it, it it doesn't look good if it's open because you can see like the instructions to the Wii <laughs> That looks good. This one, oh, the uh, the cover is from a plush toy. It was like a plasticky, feely type thing, and then I painted black and brown over it. So it, if you can see it, it looks like it's like worn leather. The studs were from somebody's hair. Somebody had some some dreadlock hair. I just cut off the balls on the end, and glued them on there but yeah I think that's all I have to say about her fits in right right in with my Sinestro core and right there you see she has some swords you guys are, if you guys are looking for some some constructs here's a cheap way to go uh, just go to a party section at some store, look for these toothpicks, and they come in all sorts of colors. This cost me like three bucks. So, if you, as you can see, there's orange, red, blue, green, yellow, and there's the clear ones. If you're lucky enough to have a white lantern, you can use that for him then, I guess. So, the entire box you can use for lanterns. They're all swords, of course. But I think they have, like, um, drink stirs as well that are clear colored stuff that you could use as constructs as well. 
yeah, cheap way to go if you want uh, some cool looking constructs right there. And as you can see, I love army building. So my chest ninjas, KJ. I know you're gonna you're gonna say something again if I call them hand ninjas. Where's my shield soldiers? Need to find some different heads for those guys in the back so that I can differentiate all of them. But yeah. That's my Lisa Drac, Keeper of the Book of Parallax. I need a parallax now. But uh, let me know what you think. Catch you guys later.